Today, I am going to discuss the structure of atom, where I will discuss some numericals based on orbital nodes. And this nodes, there are two types of orbital nodes. One is angular nodes and this uh, another one is radial nodes. Now, question is what is node? If, if you are asking what is node? Now, the question, the answer you will see, the question, the answer is lies there only. Just simply you delete this D, you simply delete this D, you will get no electron. Okay? So, what is node? It means no electron. If it is nodal point, the point at which no electron. If it is a, a nodal plane, then the plane where there is no electron. So, node means here no electron, we have to understand this. Now, based on this, we will solve some numericals. Number one, the number of radial and angular node in 4 d orbitals are respectively. Now, if you will see the node, how to calculate the node, this is the table you see. For orbital, there are different orbitals you know, s orbital, p orbital, d orbital and f orbital. And as we have discussed in the previous uh, lecture, l is equal to 0 for s orbital, s stands for this is also sharp, p for principal, d for diffuse and its l value is for s it is 0, for p it is 1, for d it is 2. Then there is simple formula, angular node means just the L value. So, angular node of S electron means 0. So, there is no angular node for this S orbital. For P orbital, angular nodes L value is equal to 1. So, you will get only one angular node. For D is equal to 2, you will get angular node 2. And for the radial node, the formula is n minus L minus 1. So, radial node if uh, uh, our system is 4 D. Okay? So, in the 4 D system, n is equal to 4 and L is equal to 2. Now, simply we will put this value in this uh, formula and we will get the answer. So, n is equal to 4 means for this uh, D orbital, the angular node will be L is equal to 2 because simply it is L value. So, for 4 d orbital angular node will be is equal to 2 and radial node will be equal to n that is 4, l that is minus 2 and that is uh, minus 1. So, 4 minus 2 minus 1 that is 4 minus 3 that is equal to only 1. So, total number of um, node the sum this is angular node plus radial node angular node is equal to l and radial node is equal to n minus l minus 1. So, it is equal to n minus 1. So, if n minus 1 you are writing, so n minus 1 is equal to n minus 1 is equal to 3, n minus 1 is equal to 3. So, if you are looking at this for 4 d, n is equal to 4, l is equal to 2. So, the angular node is equal to this, radial node is equal to this and the total node is equal to this. So, in this uh, answer what, what will be the correct answer then? Uh, radial node and angular node 1 and 2 you check, you are getting 2 and this is your 1. So, you are getting 1 and 2. Now, next question a certain or orbital has no angular node. Okay? No angular node means angular node is given by L. Okay? No angular node means L is equal to 0 and you see L is equal to 0 means which orbital? Definitely it is S orbital. So, the, a certain orbital means it will nothing but your only S orbital. It may be 2S orbital, it may be 3S orbital, whatever may be the uh, principal quantum number, it does not depend only it depends on the L value. So, 3s, 4s, 5s, whatever may be, if it is s, then L value will be always it, it is 0. So, here angular node, if it is 0, then it signifies it is uh, 3s orbital, because here it is 3p, 2p. So, we are not getting. 
then th third question the orbital having two radial nodes as well as two angular node is the orbital having two radial node okay here as well as two angular nodes means l is equal to 2 and n minus l minus 1 is equal to 2 it is given the orbital having two radial node as well as two angular node two angular node means l is equal to 2 two radial node means here two radial nodes means n minus l minus 1 is equal to 2 so from this you can calculate the orbital uh, which which orbital is having the satisfies this l is equal to 2 means first of all see l is equal to 2 means what is this l is equal to 2 means it is d orbital okay now uh, this option is also there d but here this is correct or this is correct let us check now n minus l minus 1 n is equal to here 5 uh, and here 4 and our answer should be 2 so n will be how much we know d we have got the answer d l value and we have to check whether it is 4 or it is 5 now we have to calculate n you just calculate n is equal to 2 plus l plus 1 because this side you shift it. So, 2 plus 2 plus 1, L is equal to 2. So, here 2 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 5. So, your answer will be 5D. Next, the orbital angu angular momentum for an electron revolving in an orbit is given by this. <coughs> this momentum for an uh, S electron will be given by how much angular momentum for s orbital will be always 0 because l is equal to 0 so its formula by if you are putting this value it will be 0 so for s orbital the angular momentum is equal to 0 now <coughs> let us see some tips in this uh, 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 numericals we have seen what is node node means no electron just delete d you will get the answer Number 2, mn value for, now confusion sometimes comes for, you know, for m value is equal to minus l through 0 to plus l. Suppose l is equal to 1, then l value is equal to minus 1, 0, plus 1, okay. Now, for p, l is equal to 1 and we know there are 3 p orbitals, p x, p y, p z, p x, P y P z. Now, question is which P x is equal to minus 1 or plus 1? P y is equal to minus 1 or plus 1? 0, which is 0? So, this is confusing. Now, in order to remove this confusion, you please remember z P z is always taken as this is 0. It is by default because it is uh, axis of rotation it is considered P z always we will take. 0 m, ml value for p j, p z is equal to 0. Now, p x and p y, they are both same. If it is minus 1, then it will be plus 1, it is correct. And if you are taking it is plus 1, this will be minus 1, it is also correct. So, p x is equal to it may be plus minus 1, it may be plus minus 1. But you remember, if it is plus 1, then it will be minus 1 only p y. Okay, this is plus 1, this is plus 1, it is not possible. So, p x, p y, p z like this. Similarly, for d z orbitals, there are 5 orbitals d x y, d y z, d z x, d z square, d x square minus y square. So, if you will see by default again d z square is taken as 0 and for d orbital l is equal to 2 and m l value is equal to minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1 and plus 2, okay. If you are looking at this, we are having 5 orbitals, d x square minus y square, d y z, d z square, d x z and d x y, okay. Now, x square minus y square, okay, x square minus y square and x y, they are similar. So, if it is minus 2, if it is minus 2, 
then it will be plus 2. Okay? Then dyz and dxz, if it is minus 1, then it is plus 1 and it is always this z square will be always 0. So, you have to remember while calculating the 4 quantum numbers in this uh, special in the ML value magnetic quantum number value, this we have to remember. Okay, that is all. Thank you very much. Hope this video will be helpful to you. Thank you.